Hey gamers, Athena here. Today we'll be talking about Project Ascensions of Fixes for Week 4. This video will go over the basics to provide a helpful guide for each role and how to handle each level of the affixes. Let's start off by going over this week's affixes. Fortified. This is a flat increase of 20% health and 10% damage to all mobs in the dungeon. This is on top of the standard 10% health and 3% damage increase per key level. All mobs become murlocs, providing them increased movement speed of 50% and 30% attack speed. If you aren't familiar with the dungeon, it also makes it a bit more tricky to know which mobs you are pulling and which ones to target down. Make sure you have someone to mark targets and keep your eyes open. Convention of the Elements Your damage is decreased by 50% while a buff on you cycles every 10 seconds. This buff is separate for each player, so you can be off sync with everyone else in the party. The buff does increase your damage by 300% with that specific element, so make pulls and damage around this as best as possible. In the description below is a link to download Week Auras and a Week Aura for this week's element to show you your current element and the upcoming element. Last Will. When you kill a monster, it provides 20% increased damage and heals a nearby monster by 100% of the dying monster's health. It's best to focus any mobs that receive the buff in order to avoid too many stacks, and this buff can also be applied to bosses, so don't pull too much trash onto them. Now that we've gone over this week's affixes, let's get into some class-specific details. Tanks. The main worry this week for you will be threats since you will have 50% reduced damage while your element is not up. The most important thing to do is to make sure you have as many element options as possible to keep your threat high. Here are some tankeries to consider that will help give you more elements and threats. If you use the suggested REs, a general rule for most tanks will be to start pulls when you are on the arcane element as it will lead into all your main elements. Healers. Not much really changes for healers this week. Be ready for DPS to pull threat off of your tank. If your tank is not fully set up to handle multiple elements, or if the elements are off sync, DPS can easily rip threat during their DPS windows. High haste for fast heals is highly recommended to save over aggering DPS in time. Heavy single target healing is also recommended, so this week I definitely suggest having a healing touch build. DPS. Your main focus here is to line up your cooldowns with the element windows and make sure you have as many element coverages as possible. If in a pre-mate, communicate with your tank so that they can pull bigger right before your window to clear trash faster and healer to ensure that you don't die if you pull threat. Single target is favorable this week, especially in tens. This will help you avoid wasted damage as mobs will get healed back up to nearly full as it's equal to other mobs total HP. Healing reduction is also very strong as it will cut the heal in half, bringing mobs only to 50% HP when another nearby mob dies. As an extra timbit, holy water works as holy damage, so feel free to use those to get that extra free damage output. 